How's it going, Rocco viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video, and today our winning requester is Jody Tomergue, and their request for John Wesley Harden from the Call Juarez Gunslinger game. I oddly enough have an entire Let's Play for. Ah, pardon me, it's late at night. I'm, I'm doing this at last second. I really need to stop trying to do this. I need to make more time. A uh, couple notes before we jump right into the outfit. Number one, I'm not taking requests on this video. The requests that are going to be for the Friday video are on the Booker DeWitt and Ebony and Ivory video. Just fair warning. Like, I'm not taking requests. In fact, I'm going to turn the comments off completely for this video, so apologies if that irritates somebody. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and break down this outfit piece by piece, shall we? Oh, we're also going to do his guns later, but I gotta swap to the single player for that. But, let's go ahead and start off with the hat. Surprisingly enough, there is a hat available to us in the online that just about perfectly matches. Really, the only thing we're missing is the playing cards, and that's the Drifter hat in black. It even has a nice silver band to it. You know, it's weird, my character actually sells this look way too well with that new mustache I got that I've been abusing the crap out of. Anywho, moving on. No eyewear, no mask, no bandanas, no neckwear, no coats, no ponchos, no vests, shirts. It took me a minute to actually find something that was suitable, as he's wearing an overshirt and what looks like a union shirt under that. And of course, the overshirt has the sleeves rolled up, but the union shirt has it rolled down, so... I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just went with the overshirt. And the Horsefall overshirt in black on black works perfectly. I say black on black because uh, then we have red on black and blue on, I don't know, midnight, navy, whatever. It comes in two-tone, it's weird. But I'd say that's the perfect fit. And something we don't see very often, suspenders. And there's nothing that fits better than the fine leather suspenders. In this dark maroon that I, I honestly use just to pass his black. I, John wears a lot of black in this. No gauntlets. He is wearing a single white glove on his right hand, and the riding gloves are about the best suited for the look. Sadly, we have to wear both. We can't just wear one and pull off a Michael Jackson if we wanted to. Eh. I personally would like that with the rifleman gloves for a couple of outfits I can name off the top of my head. But of course, you could also like not to wear gloves. No rings, no belts, buckles, completely dealer's choice. I just had the Viper on for fun. For weapon equipment, if I had more money, I would have probably gone with the studded bandit gun belt and offhand holster in black, but I didn't, so I ended up going with the Bulger gun belt and holster in black. Honestly, his stuff isn't that fancy. I mean, he, he's got... <laughs> A lot of weird little things about him that kind of shine, but John Wesley Harden from Call of War as Gunslinger, he's not like decked out like some of the other characters. It's not over exaggerated. It's strange. But moving on to pants, the Bandito pants in flat black. I only chose these because the bell bottoms uh about the only thing that really sell that look. No chaps, and for boots, honestly, mostly dealer's choice. I went for worn Roper boots. The only thing I can really tell is that they're clean, they're black, and they come to a point. And for spurs, Vaquero Baroque spurs in black. I mostly pick them because they're about the only ones that stick out far enough that really kind of just sell what I'm looking at in these screenshots and old recaps of my own videos. Ugh. That said, that's the online outfit. So, let's go ahead and jump to the single player and show off the guns, shall we? Because, well... He uses three of them, but two are technically the same, so two different guns. So, one quick transition. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start off with the Schofields, or Showfields, depending on how you wish to pronounce it. Now, it's a very simple gun, I'm not gonna lie. And the only thing that bugs me about it, in the game, the barrel length is at a weird in-between <clears throat> in comparison to, uh, Red Dead Redemption, as our long barrel's too damn long for that, and our short barrel's too damn short for that. I honestly like it for the short barrel because I can't think of anything else I'm ever going to use this for on, really, any gun, save for a couple of Calman variants. 
And of course, rifling, I recommend it. Iron sights, I also just recommend improved. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the model details aren't exactly fantastic, and what I can see from the Schofields on there, uh, I can't tell crap about the iron sights on his, honestly. And for the grip, we're throwing on a pearl grip. Again, this is weird, because his Schofields are very simple, I and mean, really, the only thing I fancy about them is that they're stainless, and really, the only thing I can think of is, like, nickel plating, iron isn't bad, silver if you really want it to shine, and decorate literally the entire gun that way. And that that's it. There's no engravings on this either. It's weird. Now, let's go ahead and move on to his Thunderer. Or at least my mock-up of it. Once again, I'm using the Cattleman. You can use the double action if you really want, but again, I primarily go for overall looks. And the Cattleman is closer to the Thunderer and the Lightning than, well, the double action in my opinion. Once again, components, grip, pearl grip, not the hero, regular pearl grip, short barrel, iron sights, I go with improved, you don't have to though. Styles, now this gets a little different, because I'm going off a photo of what is supposedly actually John Wesley Harden's actual Thunderer. So this is a little interesting. In my opinion, it's flat iron, but I went with nickel plating because, well, when people did kind of tweak and pimp out their guns back in the day, it was mostly nickel plating. But whether you go for iron or nickel for the whole thing, slap all of it on everything. And another fun fact, the gun is actually engraved. But of course they've worn down over time and it's hard to get a decent enough picture of the thing, where I can't really tell what would really work well for the overall look. I personally went with a Baroque, but really any of these work. It's a, it's still very simple. They're not inlaid with anything. They just look like flat out engravings on the bare metal. So by all means, whatever color you decide to go with, be it iron, nickel, or even silver, just match it with metal inlay. And no carvings, of course. Ugh. Well, guys, that's it for this video. As usual, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you all did enjoy, a great way to show them that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, sharing it with your friends. Oof. I'm... yeah. I'm gonna finish editing this now, and I'm gonna go to sleep, because I think I've earned it now. That all said, we will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video, which is also probably not that great of editing because I'm exhausted I'm tired <laughs> uh, I really need to work on my scheduling but once again thank you all for watching till next time kids take care now Buh bye bye then